I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Bottles. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Hmm. I don't want to go that way. Okay, okay. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. What? Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well... Well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man. I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! <gasps> what do you, do? you fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, that um, hmm. Wow, hmm. That wow. Ugh. Oh, oh jeez. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, no. Wow. Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. Yes, you did, Chloe. Holy crap. I killed Frank Bowers. The fuck is wrong with you? Saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Yeah, calm down. Let's get the code. Just rewind. It, 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 everything will be fine. We'll, we'll just rewind, yeah. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jeez. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Can I... bring him back?
Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Alright, let's pandas out. I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady bo- Close the door. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? I'm sorry. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! You scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Pompadour is cute. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Okay, bitch. that... Set the fuck oh. back now! Oh my god! Gosh! You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! Define! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Jeez. <laughs> I think there was another way I could have done that well. Ugh. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Okay. Yes, Max, you can change all this if you want.
Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you'd... Please, w You kind of love... Frank. You ain't... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Right. Frank. What you... Uh, scared me. I could tell. All right. Look, Frank. We're only... Shit. I love... Yeah, he... That's very... Maybe we can focus... Yes. You and Chloe. Rachel's photo. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is, not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Huh. It's better than getting shot. <laughs> Oh. That took at least five times. <laughs> God, that sucked. All right. Let's get out of here. That was too insane. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank. Hi, Max. I just thought I'd wish you and Chloe good luck for your search. With that little luck I have left. Thanks, Frank. The bigger our team, the more luck we have. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you want a party, and good luck. Yeah, at least he's ain't trying to kill us. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room and give you a fashion makeover. Well, thanks, Courtney. I swapped with Homer now. I'll check in with you later. Thanks for the offer. Joyce. Max, I appreciate you standing up for David. I know Chloe didn't like that, but she needs to stand up and stop acting out so much. Except that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. Oh boy. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. David wants to help, but she won't let, let him. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even if I, even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. How did she knew? Hmm. Amanda Palmer. Hmm. 
What else could I have here? Sorry, we got Frank on our side without using you. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Gather info and character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Not what I want to do. Ugh. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. David M. M. Right? Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's explanatory status, I told David I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. Okay. Okay, this is just sad, Max. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. i never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I am a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code names. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Huh. Okay. Wow, Katie, really? She's a twelve, yeah. Miss Fancy Car. <laughs> Bobtail. Sheba, Nacho, Husky, Joseph, Graham, Mick, Dachshund, Stella. Stella buys from Frank? God dang. Golden, Simon, Lavender, Logan, Durbin, Shepherd, Steve, Scott, Rottweiler, Boxer, Beagle, Bulldog. Chloe's a Bulldog. Okay. <laughs> she is me. Yorkshire, Bruce, Johnny's a Pug. Nicholas is a chow, Glenn is a poodle, and he's a wolf. Hmm. Tonk. What the heck is Tonk? Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? 
party supplies, no doubt. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Okay, so... Five pills? Cocaine, wow. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I don't think you want to know. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Hmm. Let's look at this list again. All right. I'm looking at Bobtail for some reason. All right, I'm gonna focus on Bobtail. That's the only name I don't recognize on this list. Uh, Bobtail, gas station, 80 bucks. What the hell? This is like goddamn math. I suck. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. something. Looks like this is not relevant at all. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together.
Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Those clues are not related. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I must have missed something. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Looks like this is not relevant at all. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Not Nathan's. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. That's definitely Chloe's car. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Those clues are not related. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm, oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. Nathan's case. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What? There's a lot of numbers in here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. 
Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we informed to inform you that Nathan Prescott has interrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Holda's Rinto to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has serious potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions as we cope we will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of his, his situation. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Pussies can't fucking fight. Pussies can't fucking spell either. <laughs> Apparently. Nine five three five. Nine five three five. Oops, bad code. Wouldn't be that easy. Hmm. Five R two four. You locked it, dumbass. Start hacking. <sighs> Five, four, three, one. You locked it, dumbass. Four, four, three, six. You locked it, dumbass. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try this. You locked it, dumbass. I'm gonna have to write this down, guys. Ugh. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. What up, Need the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bring it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You all got to party tonight, home. On the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. ASAP. I don't have make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit. What do you need? Pervervian flakes. Skiddo acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes. Don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan, you're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now, calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook brother up, please. Meet Beach be cold so as So it time. was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Ooh. <laughs> Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. 